North Carolinians are still assessing the impacts of a more restrictive abortion ban set to take effect in a matter of weeks. This time last night, we were telling you how state lawmakers overrode Governor Cooper's veto on a bill banning most abortions after 12 weeks. House lawmakers against the bill spoke about the mass exodus some states are seeing after leaders there pushed through near total abortion bans and their message it could happen here. WCNC Charlotte's Colin Mayfield is joining us now. So Colin, what are you hearing and what are the trends you're seeing around the nation? Yeah, Vanessa, so we're in the midst of this health care worker shortage, right? Lawmakers, they're questioning how the state will fill holes now that Senate Bill 20 will be set in stone come July 1st. According to the Association of American Medical Colleges, new doctors applying for residency programs are skipping states with stringent abortion restrictions. Those who are already practicing in states that have enforceable abortion bans or like us, gestational limits like Alabama, Arkansas, Idaho, Kentucky, Louisiana, and so many other states are seeing a mass exodus when it comes to their practicing OBGYNs. Representative Maria Cervani is spelling it out for members of the General Assembly, articulating a potential issue that other states have already seen. These are doctors that we want to keep here to care for our wives, our mothers, our daughters. According to the Association of American Medical Colleges, new applicants looking for medical residency programs are more likely to avoid practicing in states with near total abortion bans. OBGYN residencies saw the largest nationwide declines at more than 5%. They found that in those states with stringent laws, there was a 10.5% decrease in OBGYN applicants fearing for their medical license or the potential of a felony in some states. But it is a factor and looking at uh, whether a state has what they might call a hostile environment uh, to access to abortion. Abortion politics expert Professor Susan Roberts from Davidson College has been studying implications of abortion laws for decades, and she agrees. She thinks it will also greatly affect maternal health, especially those that are at highest risk of complications. It's debated about whether or not there's a penalty against doctors, but there are some repercussions about the medical board. And it goes further than that. Robert suggests certain medical schools are shying away from even teaching certain procedures. More and more medical schools around the country are not teaching um, procedures for access to abortion. The Association of American Medical Colleges also found that states with the highest maternal morality, uh, mortality rates, that is, within the U.S., could see worse impacts with the lack of health providers. In March, two rural hospitals in Idaho, uh, there is a near total ban, of course, and they stopped labor and delivery services due to staffing shortages with providers leaving that state. Fred Vanessa could be the future here in North Carolina, potentially. Some interesting impacts to watch. Colin, thank you.